question the other day, an uh, email came in. Can you talk about oxygen acetylene a little? You know, what are the things you might want to look at? What are the things you might want to be aware of? What could possibly go wrong? Uh, <laughs> I guess one of the first things you really ought to pay attention to when you either set a new, you know, set up a new set or you you break out the old set you know, that's been in the cabinet for a while. Look at your hoses. Check your hoses, especially where they make nice sharp bends, like to the regulators and stuff. Look for any cracks in the in the liners. If they're cracked, get rid of them. Don't even keep them around. Because they're cracked, then they start to leak, then you have a fire, and then you're running out the door with your hair on fire, making all kinds of weird noises. Check your whole system for leaks. Each and every time you use it. Not during the day, but you know, when first thing in the morning, get out your little squeeze bottle, little soapy water, a you know, little dish soap will work just fine, little, you know, a couple drops of it, a little bit of water, just enough to make it bubble. Turn your valves on, get, you know, get pressure in the system, and come in with that soapy water. Squirt all your connections. You know, in, you know, even, you know, even on, the, on the, the torch, on the handle, or on the torch body itself, you know, check all your connections. Just a little squirt, that's all you need. You get a big burst of bubbles off of it, you got a leak. Shut everything off, fix it. Don't keep using it. Another thing to keep in mind, you got plenty of hose. Don't bring the bottles over right next to where you're going to be working. You know, your hose winds up in a big coil right underneath you where all the molten metal is going to be. And you got these two bottles that are basically bombs <laughs> sitting right next to you. Move those out of the way. Get them away from you a little bit. Stretch your hose out. Get your hose out of the way so you're not tripping on it. You're not blowing hot sparks and molten metal on it. You know, keep it a little safer. Safety gear. You got to have some safety gear. You're dealing with explosive gases. You're dealing with molten metal. You're dealing with sparks going every place. You fire one of these things up. Put some safety glasses on. Not these. These. Dark glasses to go with the flame so you can see what the heck you're doing. You're going to want to wear gloves. Again, not these. Cloth back on them. You know, mesh back on them. Sparks just go right through them. You wind up doing the little chicken dance and throwing the torch around. Put on some welding gloves, put on some gauntlets, big leather heavy gauntlets, so you don't have to mess with the sparks. You're not going to burn yourself, you're not going to burn your hands, you're not going to set your gloves on fire. Alright? Clothes. You know, cotton, cotton, you know, jeans, you know, blue jeans or something like that. Preferably leather. You'll put a leather apron on, put you know, leather, leather sleeves on. Closed toed leather shoes. Not sneakers, not flip flops. Not barefoot, you know. Dress accordingly for what you do in here, so you don't get hurt. Another big topic of discussion when you're working with these: How far do you open the valves on the bottoms? Personally, I like to open them a quarter of a turn. So if there's ever a problem, I only have a quarter of a turn to shut them back off again. You know? A lot of guys believe that because of the design inside the valve. There's actually a seal above and below the outlet. The seal below, right now, is sealing all the gas, you know, keeping the gas in the bottle, keeping it out of the regulator. But as soon as you open that, now it comes by, pressurizes the regulator. But the seal above it normally seals the, the, uh, the shaft of the valve to keep gas from coming out the top. A lot of guys, just like to open it all the way and bottom that seal out in the top of the regulator or the, the, the valve body to keep gas from coming out of here. But if there's a problem, now you got to turn that thing all the way back in again to get it shut again. Big, big controversy, one way or the other. You know, I like the quarter turn. A lot of guys like it all the way. So you know, whatever works for you, however, whatever you feel comfortable with. But there's the pros and cons of it right there. And one more thing to keep in mind. Okay, you've used it, you're done with it, you shut the valves off. Do you bleed the pressure off? Or do you leave the pressure on? It's in the system between the valve 
and the torch itself. I like to leave the pressure in there for a little while, half an hour. You know, you're all done with it, it's all closed up. Look at it again in a little while and see if the regulator, or see if any of the uh, readings have changed. You know, if your pressure reading has dropped, you got a leak someplace. Go get your soapy water, come back and find that leak, fix that leak. You know? If half an hour later, both of them are reading exactly the same, the system is tight, then just go ahead and open your valves up and bleed your pressure off. Store it, you're done with it. Store it. One last thing, real quick. Store it. If you're not going to use these for a couple of, you know, couple, three days, a week, whatever, you have no plans in the immediate future for them, put your safety caps back on. Pull your regulators off. Coil them up right in your basket. You know, put everything down there out of the way. Put your safety caps back on. Leave them chained to your cart. Set them out of the way someplace where they're not going to get knocked over, bumped, whatever. If you leave the regulators on and the torch, is, you know, the torch cart gets knocked over, you run a real good chance of snapping the regulator off or snapping the valve off. That's not good. <laughs> so, I hope that gives you something to think about. You know, take them to heart if you want. Comment down there. Don't forget that subscribe button. And please come out to my website and sign up for my newsletter. I'm going to go back to work. You guys have a good day.